Good morning. My name is Dr. Chloe Latham Sykes. I'm the Deputy Director of Policy at IDRA, and I'm testifying in opposition to the substitute for House Bill 100. And thank you for the opportunity for public testimony. Um, as we said two months ago in this room, you know, IDRA does oppose any private school voucher proposal that takes public funds from public schools without any public transparency or accountability. This proposal does have the nominal increases to public school funding, which we would support and had supported through this legislative process, um, even though we advocate for substantial investments in public education, but does come with a $500 million price tag for the private school voucher proposal. The attached brief to the testimony that uh, I've, I've handed out is from Public Funds for Public Schools, just published last week, and it outlines evidence-based and legal concerns for private school voucher proposals in Texas, including education savings accounts, such as the one proposed here. These programs are overall nationwide. When you look at um, any research they have conducted or compiled, they are expensive, they w wasteful of public dollars, they can lead to school segregation. And they do not lead to increased educational achievement or opportunities for students. Also, I want to mention IDRA does uh, support protecting students' civil rights and equal access to strong public schools that serve all students. And in that vein, we do condemn this late night, last ditch proposal to move this legislation forward. We've heard from many families that we work with, educators, students, and parents who do not want this type of proposal and are not able to be here today because of the nature of, of the timing. And I know it's sensitive and I know it's on a deadline. And for that, we, we hope the power and promise of public schools can be maintained as supporting all public students and families and we urge this committee to table this last-minute proposal and reconsider investments uh, to serve all our students thank you I'll, I'll answer uh, Chloe Sykes with IDRA I have heard that uh, comparison and I heard it uh, last week on Monday in the house public education hearing as well between TEGs and higher education scholarships that are state funded or grants that are state funded mm -hmm. and the education savings accounts proposals here and I don't see those as analogous what could be potentially more analogous is what uh, Mr. Alamon just outlined which is there are some public funds that can go to support students needs in other settings because the state isn't paying for a, another type of private educational system or setting similarly in higher education as you said Senator Menendez the state is not <laughs> tasked with supporting the system of higher education. In fact, it is largely supported by students and tuition pairs and uh, other types of grants and donations and an, a, a whole other source of federal and private and other and, and, and individual revenue streams. Um, so that is not totally analogous. I mean, I think that what we have is we have other state supports that are focused on supporting students, but to compare it to higher education is a completely different type of funding system um, and, and different type of responsibility of the state. The state has a constitutional responsibility to fund public schools, K-12 through public schools. Yes, and, and in an equitable way, and this would definitely uh, mess with equity, would not? Uh, stripping some of these dollars out and some of these students out.